can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this big square, then the area of this medium square is 9 square unit. The area of this quadrilateral is 5 square units. And the area of this small square is 1 square units. Then our goal in this question is to find the area of the big square. Now pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. All right, so given this big square, then and those area, then our goal is to find the area of the big square. All right, so now let's use the given information to answer this. Since this square have an area of 9, therefore all of this side must be equal to 3. So we know this is 3. And the side length of this box with an area of 1 is 1 unit, of course. Now, let x be the side of this big square. So the area of the big square is just x squared. So if we find the value of x, square this, and that's the area of the big square. All right, now the question is how do we get the value of x? All right, here we go. This side is 3. We all know that. So since the whole thing is x and we have here 3, this side length measures x minus 3 for sure. And the whole thing is x. This is 1. This part measures x minus 1. Now doing the same thing, this is 1, this is x minus 1. This is 3, so this is x minus 3. This side length is 3. This is also 3. And this side is 1. This side is 1. All right. Now, the area of this whole figure must be equal to the sum of those areas. Areas of this square, 9, this quadrilateral with area of 5, and this small square with an area of 1. And now notice, if we combine these two triangles, two congruent triangles, we get a rectangle with the lengths x minus 3 and 3. So we can now get the area of those rectangles by multiplying the base and the height, x minus 3 and 3. Also, if we combine these two congruent right triangles, we have a rectangle with the base and height, of 1 and x minus 1. So the area of this rectangle is x minus 1 times 1. Now x squared or the area of the whole figure must be equal to 15 or just 9 plus 5 plus 1 plus the area of this rectangle with the side length 3 and x minus 3. So the area is 3 multiplied by x minus 3 and add the area of this rectangle with the side length 1 and x minus 1. So the area is just x minus 1. Now, we have an equation con consisting of x, so we cannot find the value of x. Now, let's simplify this. Let's multiply this 3 to x minus 3. So we have x squared equals 15 plus 3x minus 9, then bring down x minus 1. Now, combining like terms, we have x squared equals 4x. We have 3x plus x is 4x. 15 minus 9 minus 1 is 5. Now, let's focus on this quadratic equation. Now, Let's equate this to 0. And x squared minus 4x minus 5. This is not hard to factor. And if we factor this out, we have x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 1 equals 0. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we get that the value of x here, x equals 5. Because x minus 5 equals 0, x equals 5. And when x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals negative 1. Now, we have two possible values for x. So which one is correct? Now, can this x be equal to negative 1? That's the question. Of course, this is impossible because x is the side length of this square. Therefore, x cannot be equal to negative 1. Therefore, x equals 5. So we know that x equals 5 and our goal is to find the area of the square and the area of square is x squared. So when we square on both sides, we have x squared equals 25. So the area of the big square is 25 square units. And that is our answer to this question. So given this figure, then the area of the big square is 25 square 
units. And as always, we are done.